Hello, sharing all the world. It's Monday, and guess what the weather's like? It's piss raining again. Hooray! So that makes it the fifth week in a row with rain on the Monday. So Danish fall is just lovely and beautiful. Ugh. Now, first of all, I'm sitting on the floor in today's video. Uh, that's my desk where I usually film my videos, and that's the door to my room, and my camera is just lying on top of the jar bed, so... It's cool with a new camera angle and stuff. Uh, last week was the first week in a really long time where everyone uploaded a video, so that made me really happy. Hopefully this week will be just as successful. Uh, I know that we're all incredibly busy at the moment. I, I sure as hell know that I am. Uh, I have a crap load of homework waiting for me, so that's gonna be fun. Um, I've been thinking about declaring a state of emergency on this channel, meaning that, that we don't have to upload a video on on our day. I mean, it's still preferable to upload your video on, on your day because that just makes things easier and stuff, but if that's not possible, you can just upload the next day or in the weekend or whatever, as long as you upload, because then we'll be happy and satisfied and we'll be like a family, an old, good old collab channel again. I don't know what's going on with all my hand gestures in today's video, sorry about that. It is a bit cold, so I'm gonna get a shirt. A warmer shirt. Arr, that's a bit better. Uh, so, Kesh, you're getting a tattoo, which is... That's so cool, I wish I had the balls to do something like that. And the money, but most of all, the balls. If I were to get a tattoo, it would probably be something like yours, Kes. Something with Doctor Who, or Harry Potter, or... YouTube, or is that too weird? I guess it is. Um, my mom has a serious pl problem with tattoos, I don't really know why. She only has that one argument that, that we've heard so many times, that... Uh, it's gonna look old. Uh, no, it's it's gonna look ugly when you're old and you're gonna regret it and blah blah blah. But but really, that's not what it's about, is it? It's about showing that you have complete control over your body, that you can do whatever you want with your body, and and that you can make a decision that will stay with you for the rest of your life. And that's a beautiful thing that we should embrace more often, I think. And and also, it's it's cool just to have something permanent on your body that shows a part of who you are and, and, and what you're interested in and, and what you love and stuff, so go for it, I can't wait to see the tattoo. And maybe, if it's not too weird, you could record yourself getting a tattoo and then show it to us, because I have a couple of mates who have tattoos and, and, and they all say that, oh, it doesn't hurt at all, blah blah blah, but I don't know if they're just saying that to, to they don't want to look like wimps, you know, they want to look like badasses who can take getting a needle inside their arm, and I don't know how tattoo, how a tattoo works, but <laughs> um, anyways, I, I, I think it could be cool to see your tattoo getting made and stuff. But I understand if that's too much because getting a tattoo is a quite personal thing, I guess. Michelle, you made a really great video last week dedicated to your cat. Uh, I, I loved your video, I thought it was amazing. And uh, you also asked if we have any pets, which I do. I have uh, a dog called Pele, but I call him Gandalf because uh, he's white and stuff. Uh, some of you might have met him on, on in one of my videos on my main channel, but um, he's not here because uh, Gandalf lives at my dad and I live at my mom's. So, but I've had a lot of cats throughout my life because my mom's a cat person, I guess. Uh, but the funny thing about these cats is that they have all been named after British writers because my mom's an English teacher, so she's really into British literature and stuff. And Vessel, you got into that project thing, which is really cool. Like, it sounds incredibly exciting, so I can't wait to hear more. And Celia, you asked the question that I can't really remember at the moment, so I have to look it up, but, um... It... Oh, okay, you just wanted to know what we're reading at the moment, and... I am currently reading Infinite Jest. If you haven't heard of it, it's a science fiction book, and it's... really thick. I'm just gonna get it so I can show it. So here it is, Infinite Gist by David Foster Wallace. It looks... okay. Uh, I've barely read anything in this, because I'm gonna have to be honest with you, it is quite difficult. The, the language is really complex in this book, so... But what I've read so far is, 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 is great stuff. Um, but as I said uh, earlier in this video, I don't have a lot of time at the moment, because I have to... I have a bunch of homework, and I usually just finish my homework in bed before I go to sleep, so there's not a lot of time for reading science fiction, even though that would probably be more entertaining than homework. Yeah, I'm sort of counting on finishing this book in the Christmas holidays, because then I'll have a lot of time to do stuff like that. I have no idea how long this video is right now, because I've been running around off-camera doing some other stuff while making this video, but uh, I'm gonna have to talk about Doctor Who, because no sharing all the world video without talking about 
the newest Doctor Who episode, so here we go. This week's episode was called Closing Time, and it was written by the same guy who also wrote uh, The Lodger in Series 5, which is, it is one of my all-time favorite Doctor Who episodes, so it was difficult not to compare Closing Time to The Lodger, and by doing that, I think Closing Time seemed sort of disappointing to me anyways, but disappointing in a not so disappointing way, if that makes sense, because it, it, it wasn't a bad episode, not at all, but when... it's difficult to explain, but when comparing it to the larger, it just wasn't as good. But it did sort of have a Russell T. Davis feel to it, which I really liked. It gave me a sort of a feeling of nostalgia, if that makes any sense. I don't know... can any of you even relate to that at all? Also, the Silence is back. Of course they're back. Who didn't see that coming? I mean, oh, but still, I love those guys. I think they're really well-made and creepy and... Oh, ooh. <coughs> I'm gonna die. Goodbye, sharing all the world, lad. <coughs> I didn't even know I could make that voice. Uh, Kez, I'll see you tomorrow and you guys will see me again next Monday.